Let's take a look at the Meris LVX Looper. Welcome back to the channel. I can't find many videos here on YouTube around Maris LVX Looper. I've owned probably five or six loopers over the years, from dedicated loopers like the Boomerang and from TC Electronic, all the way through to other pedals that have got loopers built in, like the Microcosm and the Line 6 DL4. So first things to say is that this is a 60 second stereo looper. For those of you that are used to using loopers, uh, a lot of the functionality at first will be pretty familiar. Playing my Squire Jazzmaster uh, baritone. <laughs> We're not going to do anything fancy in terms of the settings on the LVX or the delay tones that we're going to get from it. Primarily here to talk about the looper. So I'm just going to use number one, which is magnetic shift. Sounds a bit like this. It's a really nice stereo wide pitch to delay, uh, lovely stuff. So we'll use that as our uh, initial bass tone. Now, let's dive in. So the far right hand switch here on the Maris LVX, firstly is your tap tempo, which is pretty self-explanatory. And secondly, it is your looper switch, and it's what activates the pedal into looper mode. So to do that, as it says in little brackets there, you hold that down. And when you do that, the tap tempo flash stops flashing, which means you've gone into looper mode. The second way to know that you've gone into looper mode is that on the screen here, you get two little arrows um, and that's your, that signifies your looper, that you're in looper mode. So the first switch here is to record and to overdub. Your second switch here is to play. And then your third and fourth switches here are where some of the special effects that are built into the looper come in. We'll get to those in a minute, so hang around for those. Got this on the table, as you can see, so not gonna be perfectly timing slick licks here and, and, and loops, but let's just hit record and record a loop. So that loop is now in there. The play button also stops it as you've just seen. So I simply hit the record button and then flipped into the second one to start playing back what I played. Now let's play that again by hitting the second button. That'll continue the loop playing. And then next time I hit the first button here, I'll be overwriting uh, and recording more on top of the loop that I've already recorded. So let's start and then overwrite. Okay, not the greatest composition in the world, but again, I'm just literally plugging in and playing to emphasize the point of what this can do and how you can use it. The first two buttons there, really, really self-explanatory. We're either gonna record on the first button and then hit the second one to play it. Second one stops it, so we can start and stop that. Or 
we can just hit the first one to overdub or hold that and overdub. Now, uh, before we get into these two buttons here, which are really where the magic is, so we're gonna start with magnetic shift as our first sound. I'm gonna come out of the looper by holding the fourth switch down and it'll take us back out of the looper mode into all of the other settings and parameters. Pick a different sound, hold the looper down again to go back into looper mode and then overdub using the first button here with that new sound. That doesn't make sense, I apologize. Just watching it will. Sound too great at the end, apologies. I was doing that to show you how you can come in and out of loop mode, select any of the sounds, you can create sounds on the fly if you want, that you've got saved in all the sounds that you've got saved in here, and then go back into loop mode and layer the different types of, I keep wanting to say delay, but this pedal of course does so much more than delay into your loop. Okay, I'm gonna record something really, really simple and straightforward, and then we're gonna use some of the additional functions, let's say, or what I call them special effects, but I don't know if that's the, the correct terminology. So let's get a really super simple sound. Um, this one will do, not fussy. And we're gonna explore some of the additional functionality that sits within here. Okay, so simple uh, standard delay, digital delay. So let's loop that and then we're gonna use three and four. We're gonna use button three and four to have some interesting fun. So we're in loop mode and we'll start that. that now that I've captured in the loop and we're going to explore some goodies. So in this setting, in the setting that we're in, I can flick through to the looper page. These two buttons here underneath have got written loop FX1 and loop FX2. And that means that when you've got your looper engaged and, and the loop within it, you can start putting some effects onto them. This is really the secret source for the Looper and the LVX. For those of you that are that have played the Line 6 DL4, some of this will be very, very familiar to you. I'm pretty sure the primary settings on the, the Looper in the Maris LVX were based upon the Line 6 DL4. 
which is a looper that people love. Let's play the loop that I just captured and let's engage loop effects one. Now loop effects one currently is set to re-trigger and you can see that on the screen here. What you can do is turn this dial here and it will start changing what the effects do. So currently set to re-trigger. The second loop effects, you can adjust that as well. At the moment, uh, we've got it set to half speed and reverse. So what that means is if you hit the loop two once, then the loop will play at half speed. If you hit the button twice, it will play in reverse motion. And you can change that if you want to, although I don't tend to, I keep it in that. You can change that to one of the two. So you can have it just at half speed or just reverse. But for me, I want the ability to do both of those things, either by pressing the button once or twice. So let's press play. I don't need to play my guitar because it was already captured. Let's play the loop and then let's use effects one to re-trigger the loop, which means it'll send it back to the start and, and it'll go from the start whenever I press the button. Now let's just say for argument's sake I wanted that I wanted that to be play play once then that's what it'll do. So you saw the light come on above play once and they both turned off once it had played once. Let's go to the second one because this is where some of the magic comes in. Um, let's press it once and get this played in half speed. So press it once, half speed, press it once again, and it comes back to the normal speed. Really, really, really cool, and something that I used to use a lot with uh, previous pedals, Microcosm in particular, and the looper on there. Really liked playing pieces of music into it, capturing it in the looper, and then putting it down into half speed, and you'll notice that pitch shift downwards. Uh, just really cool for points of interest in music and songs. We're gonna do the second functionality on there now, though, and hit it twice to go into reverse. So let's start the loop and then hit it twice to go into reverse. I think that's the basics of what the loop can do. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Hopefully you can see just how fantastic and brilliant that is. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll come straight back to you. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button below. It really does make a difference and allows me to continue sitting in this room day after day making these videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.